everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to share with you guys a get ready with me or tutorial using a brand new palette that I was so excited to come home to and this is the new Too Faced The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette. I was so excited you guys. This released on Monday, August 15th and this is the first time I seriously have ever ordered something at Ulta, paid for overnight shipping and actually got it the next day. Like <laughs> I have the worst luck in general with like shipping and getting my stuff on time but I, like with Ulta, it's like 10 times worse for whatever reason. I always pay for really fast shipping. That way I can get the reviews out for you guys really super fast. And I'll pay for overnight shipping and it's literally three or four days later when it comes. Like I have the worst luck. But this was awesome. This is the first time I ordered it literally at like midnight on Monday and I got it on Tuesday and I was so excited. Now I came home to it at like 7.30 last night on Tuesday and so I can't do a review on it because I haven't had a chance to really play with it more than a couple hours while at home. So I'm going to hold on to this and play with it for the next several days and probably get a review up for you guys maybe on Saturday hopefully fingers crossed but you guys gave me such really positive feedback and really, really enjoyed my tutorial last week using the Tarte Styled by Harouche palette. And I did that because I was doing a review a couple days later. And so you guys really enjoyed at least seeing a tutorial while I was holding off on the review since I was trying out the product. So I figured I would go ahead and do that again and share with you guys kind of my first impressions and using this in a get ready with me. And the reason I'm going to call it a get ready with me is because it has a bronzer, it has blush, and a highlight in it. So I decided to go ahead and do a full face using this. This palette as far as my bronzer, my blush, my highlight, and my eyeshadows. It comes with mascara, it comes with um, the Sketchmark uh, eyeliner, and so I'm going to be trying out all those products for you. And so I figured it would be fun to do a first impressions or get ready with me using this palette, and then a review will be coming in a little while once I've had a chance to actually really use this palette the rest of this week. So I'm really excited. Um, I do think it looks really nice. You will kind of hear my thoughts throughout, and then I will kind of give you guys my first impressions after you have seen the tutorial. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look with the new Too Faced by Nikki Tutorials palette, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, I'm going to start off with priming my eyes, and I am going to use the primer that came out with this little kit, and this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24-Hour Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm not usually super crazy about this, but I figured let me go ahead and use like everything that comes in this little kit um, for today's Get ready with me, our tutorial, whatever you want to call this. So I'm going to put this on both eyes. Okay, so now going into the palette, I'm going to set everything with the light creamy shade in the palette. And this is the shade Ivy, so I'm going to take a Zoeva 232, and then I'm just going to set that primer. That way it makes it really easy for all our eyeshadows to start blending, and it also sets that primer as well so nothing moves. So now I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. I'm going to take this shade Painkiller, which is this shade right here. And this is kind of like a mid-tone brown, and I'm going to put this all over the crease, and this is going to be my transition shade. Now I'm going to go in right next to it, which is this darker brown, and this one is Makeup and Chill. And I'm going to take a more dense brush. This is my MAC 217, and I'm going to focus this mostly on the outer crease and then, or the outer V, and then move it up into the crease once I've kind of gotten most of that pigmentation off. Now I want to try out this black shade so I'm going to go in with a much more dense brush just to put it in the outer crease and I'm going to be using a Morphe 321 and I'm going to take just a little bit of that black shade which is this one right here. I'm going to put this kind of in the crease and then slant it downward almost like blending it into our eyeliner that we're going to use a little bit later. I don't know if you guys can tell but I find 
that the black shade that we added is a little bit blotchy and just kind of hard to blend no matter what. I feel like it's just patchy just a little bit. I think from afar right here it doesn't look bad, but when I look super close, I don't really like how it's looking right now, but I've been blending for a while, so we're just gonna go with it. So now I'm gonna go in with a flat definer brush. I'm gonna take my MAC 242, and I'm gonna pick up this gold shade called Irresistible. I'm just gonna concentrate that on the middle part where we didn't put any of that brown makeup and chill shade. And I do find that this is like, again, a little bit patchy or that you can almost kind of still see through it that it's not as opaque as I would like when you get really close up. I'm gonna try using my finger a little bit to see if we can get a little bit more pigmentation. It looks like we can when you use your finger. I find that with a brush, it's just not picking it up enough that it's almost too patchy and like see-through, much better when you use your finger much much better so now i'm going to go back in and just kind of smooth everything out with the brush but definitely applies a lot better with a with your finger now i'm going to go back in with that makeup and chill brown shade just a little bit to deepen it up in the crease and then bring it in the inner corner as well so now for the fun shade i'm going to go in with this purple shade right here which is Wham Bam, and I'm going to put that underneath the lower lash line because I definitely want something fun and a pop of color underneath. So let me find like a flat definer brush. I'm going to use a Zoeva 221 flat definer, and then I'm going to take a good amount on my brush, and I'm going to put this underneath the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna line my upper lash line. I'm not gonna do a winged eyeliner because I feel like we're going a little crazy as it is by using purple and using some purple mascara afterwards. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Sketch marker and just line my eyelashes like or my lash line like I normally would. So before I forget, I want to contour using the Chocolate Soleil bronzer that's in here, which is this shade down here. And I'm going to use a NARS Eda brush because I do want to bake a little bit and then put on blush and all that stuff. So we're going to do that and then finish up with the eyes. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to move on to finishing up the eyes. I am going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that it comes with, and it's in the purple shade. So first, I'm going to take this Tarte Eyelash Curler and just curl my eyelashes. And now we are gonna see how purple and what this looks like. Holy cow. Can you guys see how purple that is? Like look how purple, that looks crazy. So I don't know if you 
guys can tell. I can tell a little bit. Oh, I already, look, I already got it dirty. Like, I've used it for one time, I already got it dirty. But I feel like from far away, you can't really tell that it's purple. But when you get in the light in, like, certain angles and when it reflects, I can see that it's purple. But it's definitely not, like, an obnoxious purple. Like, from here, definitely can't tell. It just kind of, like... I don't know, it gives your eyes a little pop. So now we're gonna move on to blush. So I am going to go ahead and mix both those blushes together. I Will Always Love You is kind of that peachy shade, and then Justify My Love is the pink shade, and these are so pigmented. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between those two and then really tap off the excess, and then I'm going to, uh, I was gonna say bronze up the face, blush up the face. And then I'm going to blend everything out with a duo fiber brush just to make sure it's good and blended together. But now let's move on to highlighting. And so I'm going to take this Target Up and Up brush that you guys know I love because I've been playing with the highlighter in there and not going to lie, first impressions is it's not that good when you swatch it. You really have to have a more dense brush and kind of scrape in there and then you have a really nice highlight. But at first, when I first swatched it, I was like, this looks like a weak eyeshadow, not even a highlighter. So I'm going to go in with the shade Champagne Truffle which is this shade down here, and then let's highlight our face. Alright you guys, this is the completed look. I think after it's all said and done, it did turn out really nice and it's really pretty. So my first impressions on some of the eyeshadows is that they are harder to blend out. Like that black shade Wanted was pretty hard to blend out. I'm still not entirely happy how it looks when you're really, really close up. From far away like you are now, I think it looks fine. But that one was a little bit harder to blend. I found like the gold that I use irresistible. Um, it lacks pigmentation or can be really patchy if you use a brush. It definitely applied a lot better as you guys saw once I used my finger. I find that wham bam the purple shade wasn't quite as like pigmented as I thought like once you actually swatch it and play with it Like it's not quite as purpley and like in your face um, I was pleasantly surprised that the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the purple shade because that's what you get with this palette um, Is definitely a lot more wearable than I was expecting so so far um, I think that this palette is pretty good, um, but I'm not as like floored about this palette as I was expecting to be. I was like super duper excited. Like it looked really pretty. But the more and more I played with it tonight, like I just, there, there's some things that I'm questioning. And overall, this palette reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay palette that they did um, maybe around the fall or holidays last year. And so a lot of this palette is reminding me of this as far as the quality and the consistency and the texture and stuff like that. But I'll definitely talk about that more in the review. Now I will say I do really really love first impressions these blushes I don't actually have any of the flush or the love flush blushes I think that's what they're called I don't have any of those in my collection so this is the first time I've got to try them and I actually really like them um, I do find that maybe chocolate soleil doesn't feel quite like the normal like chocolate soleil bronzer in the, the individual pan I feel like this one's a little bit more gritty and powdery and doesn't blend out quite as easily and then like I said earlier the um the highlighter champagne truffle does not swatch well at all it definitely applied a lot better once I used the brush and once I kind of like scraped my brush in there but I think it's really pretty once you have it on and then like I said I'm concerned a little bit and that it is accentuating my pores and my texture over here but we will see. Those are kind of my first impressions. I do think the look turned out really nice. I'm definitely really excited to continue to use this the rest of the week. There are definitely a ton of fun shades in here. Purples, golds, blues, and so I'm excited to use this the rest of the week. And then I will try to film for you guys on Saturday and get it up on Saturday, the review and my final thoughts on this palette. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me using the new Too Faced The Power of Makeup by Nikki Tutorials palette and that this will hold you guys over until I wrap up my final thoughts in the review in the next couple days. 
day. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay tuned to all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!